You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980. My name is Les Brown. I'm Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy, and we welcome you to our show. We come your way Monday through Friday from 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock, and, and our goal and objective is to provide a, pro- provide a program for you. Can you get it out, buddy? Okay, thank you. To provide a program for you that will inject some positivity in your day, and, and it, it, it's been proven that when you have positive things injected into your life, it's good for you. And so when you listen to this show, you'll feel good at the cellular level, all right? Now, Last night, I, I just want to just say thank you. I want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who showed up at the Alex Theater last night for an evening with Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey was brilliant. I mean, you talk about an incredible person. Brilliant, powerful, and gracious. He, he gave me an opportunity to speak, and, 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 and he also asked me to come on stage to answer questions with him. He's just a very gracious humble Christian man and I just love being with him and just to just to see how his mind works he, he transformed a lot of lives last night and if there's one thing that I can point out to say why people showed up to see Dave Ramsey and myself is because a lot of people are uh, just where I was I was stuck for 14 years a lot of people are stuck stuck in their finances stuck in their careers stuck in their relationships where they're dying together rather than living together. There are people everywhere that are looking for solutions to the hurdles that life throws at them. For example, I told last night how I wanted to become a disc jockey. That was in my heart. I, I had no experience at broadcasting, and I, and I had this mentor, Mr. Leroy Washington, who's now blind in his 80s from glaucoma, and, and he said, Mr. Brown, what do you want to do with yourself, young man? I said, sir, I want to take care of my mother. He said, how do you plan to do that? I said, I'd like to become a disc jockey. He says, is that right? I said, yes, sir. He said, well, you don't get in life what you want. You get in life what you are. He said, here's what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to develop your mind, and he gave me motivational materials to listen to Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret in the World, and Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, The Power Positive Thinking Book to Read. And then he told me, listen to Paul Harvey. I said, who's Paul Harvey? He's the, he's the world's greatest communicator in radio. And he had me to go out in his car, gave me his car keys, and I would sit in his car and listen to Paul Harvey do a program called The Rest of the Story and listen to his story storytelling strategies and then he said practice the principle of OQP and I said what is that sir he said only quality people if you hang around with losers you will end up a loser and so I did those things and and then he said Mr. Brown you need to go out into the workplace and so I went to apply for a job he told me to visualize myself becoming a disc jockey and whatever goals and dreams that you have I want you to have a mindset that I expect to reach my goals I, I can see it and that's what I did I visualized and saw myself on the air and I practiced and I went to apply for a job on Miami Beach WMBM radio station it was an AM station hello Mr. Butterball how are you sir my name is Les Brown sir I like to be a disc jockey I said, do you have any job, sir? He said, do you have any experience? I said, no, sir, I don't. I said, but I'm good, sir. Let me audition for you, sir. Let me show you how good I am. All I need is a shot. He said, I'm sorry, we don't have any job for you. You ever been rejected before? I was devastated with rejection. I went back to the to Mr. Washington. I said, Mr. Washington, they said no. He said, don't take it personally. Most people are so negative, they have to say no seven times before they say yes. He said, you go back again. You got to be hungry. I said, yes, sir. See, if you want something, you've got to be hungry, got to be unstoppable. So I went back again. Hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you, sir? My name is Les Brown, sir. I like to be a disc jockey. Young man, weren't you here yesterday? Yes, sir. D- didn't I tell you no yesterday? Yes, sir. Th- then why are you back today? Well, sir, I didn't know whether or not somebody was laid off or somebody was fired, sir. Nobody was laid off or fired. Now, get on out of here. Well, I came back the next day talking loud, looking happy, like I was seeing him for the first time. Hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you? i like to be a disc jockey. He said, go get me some coffee. I said, yes, sir. I bowed my head and I, and I went to get him some coffee because I was determined to be in that business of broadcasting and talking to people. And, and so I became the errand boy for the disc jockeys. I'd go get their lunch and their dinner and I'd stand in the control room. And I'd watch them working their hands on the control board, knowing my time would come. Then on the weekend, their cars would be clean, inside out, and wax. He said, hey, who did this? I did, sir. Uh, well, how much do you charge? Oh, nothing, sir. I just want to help out. See, if you want a goal or a dream, 
you got to be willing to build relationships. You've got to give before you ask. And so I, I was building relationships. And he said, look here, Dinah Ross and the Supremes are coming to town. The Four Tops and the Temptations. I want you to pick them up and take them to the Fountain Blue Hotel. Be my pleasure, sir. I would drive them all over Miami Beach. And the disc jock is big, long Cadillacs. Didn't have any driver's license, but I was driving like a ass up. <laughs> and then one Saturday afternoon, a disc jockey by the name of Rockin' Roger was drinking while he was on the air. Rockin' Roger got so drunk he could not complete the show. He began to slur his words, about to fall off the chair. It was a Saturday afternoon. I was the only one there looking at him through the control room window, walking back and forth, young, ready, and hungry. I was saying, drink, rock, drink. <laughs> Drake Rock, I'd go get him some more if he'd asked me to. Then pretty soon the phone rang. It was a general manager, and I answered the phone. I said, hello? He said, young boy, this is Mr. Klein. I said, I know. He said, Rock can't finish his program. I said, I know. He said, would you call one of the other DJs in? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> I called my mom and my girlfriend, Cassandra. I said, y'all come out on the front porch and turn up the radio. I'm about to come on the air. <laughs> So I waited for about 20 minutes, and I called him back. I said, Mr. Klein, I can't find nobody. He said, young boy, do you know how to work to the controls? I said, yes, sir. He said, go on there and segue the records, but don't you say nothing here. I said, yes, sir. I couldn't wait to get to that turntable. I put on a fast record. It was by Stevie Wonder called Fingertips. I said, look out. This is me, LB, Triple P, Les Brown, your platter playing papa. There were none before me and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. Young and single and love to mingle. Certified, bona fide, and indubitably qualified to bring you satisfaction and a whole lot of action. Look out, baby. I'm your love man. I was hungry. <laughs> I told him to give me my medication before I came on today. If you want your goal or dream, you got to be hungry. If you want to get unstuck, you've got to be hungry. And so here's what I'm asking today. I, I'm, I'm looking for those of you that, that are stuck, stuck on your job or stuck in your heart or stuck in your head or maybe you have gotten unstuck. How did you get unstuck? You can help somebody out today. I believe help somebody and help yourself. So I want you to call. If you're stuck, let's deal with it. I want you to call me at 888-539-2980 because for 14 years I didn't do what I'm doing now for 14 years I was stuck for 14 years I didn't believe in myself because I don't have a college education because I was labeled educable mentally retarded because I was born in an abandoned building on the floor because I'm adopted and and I've never known who my birth parents were and I used all these things to keep myself stuck and I wasn't even aware of it. That's the bad part about it. See, most people are failing in life because they don't know that they don't know and they think they know what's got them stuck and they need some help. See, sometimes you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. So let's deal with it. You stuck? You call. Call me right now. It's your day. It's your time. You're not listening by accident. Coincidence is God's way of staying anonymous. There's a reason that you're listening to me now. And if you're stuck, the reason is you're supposed to call me so I can help you get unstuck. The number to call is 888-539-2980. That's 888-539-2980. My name is Les Brown. This is Mamie Brown's baby boy, Dr. Unstuck. <laughs> You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980.